On my sixth birthday, I was bought a box of crayons. When I was given the present, I was so excited I went straight upstairs with the box tucked under my arm. I was found three hours later, sprawled out on the floor as if collapsed from lack of energy, and all around me the walls, the floor, the ceiling, the desk, my toys, were covered in writing. I'd worn the crayons to their very ends, the torn pieces of wrapper scattered around me. After that day, these attacks happened more and more frequently. My parents grew desperate. Initially, they attempted to hide all the writing equipment. Pens, pencils, and even my mother's lipstick were all bundled into a cupboard and locked away. Yet I always managed to find them, or they found me. At 15, my mother took me to the local priest, claiming I'd been possessed by demons. I remember being pinned down, with him looming over me, flicking holy water into my face. The holy man assured my mother that all that was ungodly inside me had been expelled from my body. However, the attacks continued. I reasoned to myself that if the ungodly had been driven out of me, then surely it was the godly that was behind all of this. Religion failing, my mother took me to the doctors. I was diagnosed with a wide variety of illnesses, forms of epilepsy, schizophrenic psychosis, ADHD, paranoia, agoraphobia, dissociative aggressive syndrome. I was prescribed and self-prescribed copious medications. Phetamine B, Sterazol, Glutamine 3, Paradol, Mesolaic antithestamines, muscle suppressants, cocaine, methamphetamine, quadrazole, mescopetapeptides, cannabis, aspirin, sex, alcohol. Despite the drugs, the fits continued, always getting stronger. It was as if the more they were prevented, the more frequent, violent and determined they became. After all of these years of trying to ignore and repel what is innate, I decided that the only way to overcome it was to let it run its course. I started to find coherence and meaning in the words I scribbled down. They guided me and warned me of danger. As I follow the clues along this path of darkness, I feel I'm getting closer to the truth. What's up, athletes, and welcome to Friday Night Lights. Tonight, we are playing Meat. FPS creator horror game, as you can see from the opening cutscene, that's about psychological horror. So, let's just start the chapter. Chapter 1, Bill Burn Meat Factory. So this game was made, and it was one of the earlier FPS creator games made, in the same contest that Beyond Life was in, if you remember me playing Beyond Life way back when. Um, this game... I think was made with a lot of real like images um, as the template so like the developer would go out to the place that he uh, sent the game in and just took pictures of like the meat factory that you explore in this game um, I think this game may ha um, be I think this game might have been some sort of therapeutic uh, treatment for the developer, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, he, he may have just uh, created a psychological horror game, but I think I remember him saying something about how this was like a, in a form of therapy, but I could be misre misremembering. Enter. All right. The game was made by an FPS creator user named Butterfingers. He made a lot of, um, I don't know if he made a lot of games necessarily, but he did a lot of custom uh, asset work, like this monster here. I think actually everything in this game is custom, except for the doors. Um, he made a bunch of custom weapons. I think there was a pack made for them. I have a bunch of his weapons, so I don't know if there was an official pack made or... Um, 
if the person who, who I got these, or if the site that I got these from was not legal, but... I actually used one of his characters in my own FPS creator game, Flesh and Bones, um, with the final boss. The final boss was a character that he created. And I just used it for my game. And I did use these guns in... Or I didn't use them, I helped. I helped uh, my friend with uh, his game, Commander Collins Chicken Place, and we used the guns there. Oh. Send him to the Shadow Realm. I don't think there was anything ever more made with this game. Um, this is, like I said, this says chapter one, but I don't think there ever was another chapter made, which is disappointing because I do think this is a fun and a psychological thing. Um, so, I think it was in my Darkest Island playthrough that I did. Uh, I talked about decals. Uh, this is a decal. It's just a little 2D image that's animated to give the impression of those little... I don't know what they're called. Those little covers that you put in, like, rest er, in restaurant kitchens and stuff. They keep the cold air in, but you don't have to worry about it being a door. According to the files, those creatures are called Pit Crawlers, which is an interesting name. By far, though, the weirdest thing is, I don't know if you can see it, but in the top left, it says health and the other thing's supposed to be lives. I don't know why there's not an actual number, though, or what it's supposed to be, but I don't think it worked properly. I should probably use these guns, though. I don't know how much health I actually have. I think it's pretty cool. <clears throat> Well, I didn't forget about him, but I forgot he got up that fast. That doesn't sound very good. The butcher has the key. Yeah, I know. I just got it. Thank you. 
Now if I remember right, this final boss fight, this is... This is unfortunately going to be a shorter video. Um, if I remember right, this final boss fight that I'm about to enter is, uh... Oh. It's bugged. A little bit. Oh, just kidding. It was not bugged. <laughs> he died like a bitch. Beast is dead. Blood turned brown like the rusty floor. As I awoke from my seizure, I was confronted with a new clue. Irwin Chapel. I'd been there as a child. A terrible, ungodly place where a few now mentioned. And that was me, everybody. It's a very unique FPS creator game, and if I remember right, it was put in one of the FPS creator forums as best of the best, which, well, I don't know if I would agree with that inherently. I can understand why it got to that point. Um, like I said, it's one of the earlier FPS creator games, and the custom media is actually pretty impressive, even if it doesn't look all that great. But, yeah, that was me. I'll leave the download link in the description if you want to play it for yourself. But let me know what you guys think. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys later.